What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the new mode in NBA 2K22, my team, and why I believe it is the best, going to be the best mode in the game. I'm going to explain my reasoning, a lot of people are like, oh, what about the rewards, what about the rewards, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, the rewards don't matter that much, they don't matter that much, they matter, they don't matter that as much as we give, as much as we think they don't matter that much, so, anyway. We know we knew it was called Clutch Time. Clutch Time and the description of the game were put into the game's code yesterday. I wanted to make this video yesterday, but this is one of those leaks where I'm like, hmm, this is something I probably could get in trouble for leaking. Like, this isn't like 2K accidentally tweeting out something. This was in the game code. So I had an entire video recorded, pretty much this video, but I needed to wait until it was official because we all, well, not we all, a lot of people didn't know about this yesterday. A lot of people didn't know about this yesterday. So, let's let's have a listen. Hi, right, team fans. A brand new exciting mode is heading straight your way, and it's called... First of all, great to see LD. Great to see LD. Second of all, LD rocking the Tash right there. LD rocking the Tash. First of all, time, like, so happy to see LD after... Um, He's had a rough couple of months out wise, but it's great to see him back. It's honestly great to see him back. Great, great guy. Great your way, and it's called Clutch Time. Alexis, give the fans the details. Okay. Welcome to Wait a Clutch Time, a brand new mode. Oh, so Clutch Time isn't being played in the main court. Coming to my, my team. The lighting doesn't seem as bad as CT Online. Playing fast paced. Five on five games Let's watch with it all through, best my bad. cards in online competition. All in the presence of an amazing girl adorned with the best clutch players in NBA history. Get your lead fast and hold it since these games are played in the waning moments of the fourth quarter with five minutes on the clock. But in clutch time, the five players you bring to the court is all you have. There are no bench players to bail your starters out here. With new exclusive seasonal rewards, this new way to compete in my team drops in just over a week with season three on December 3rd. For more details on Clutch Time, be sure to check out the official my team Twitter at NBA2K underscore my team during the my team festival going on this holiday week. And after the mode drops, remember Court to share small. your best plays Court with the hashtag small. 2KTVWOW to be featured right here on 2 Like, the lighting looks okay. The court KTV. looks okay. The court looks small. Oh, I hope this is a full-size court. I really do hope this is a full-size court. Obviously, we're not going to hear anything more from that. Um. So, yeah, um... I genuinely do think I'm trying to see if I can find anything in um tweeted from my team. But uh unfortunately I can't. Unfortunately I cannot find anything tweeted from my team about clutch time. But look at the end of a uh, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, um we can kinda know we kinda know most of it. My old thing, the one the questions that I would be asking about this are is the court full size? And are the sliders TTO sliders or unlimited sliders? And you might say, oh, unlimited sliders on rookie. That's not the point. The point is, is like, do players, when you click in the L3 button, start spinning around the floor? Do players take flashy dunks every time? That's what I'm asking. Because I hope, I really hope that the court's full size. Because if it's a small court, this mode's going to be a disaster. If it's a small court, this mode is going to be a disaster. I just want to put that out there. Because it's hard to tell. The court looks small, but I think that's just because... I think that might just be, like... Because I'm, like, associating it with TT Offline. History. I think, like, that might be why um, the court looks kind of small. So there's, let's just throw on some background music here. Like... I'm not quite sure. Actually, I haven't even explained what this mode is. This mode is a five minute game. One quarter, five minute game. So basically you go out with your starting five and you play one quarter. This is like, remember when I said like the one quarter battle royale type game was what I thought it was gonna be? I was very close. I think I was as close as anybody to, to guessing this. I was very, very close with that. 
But my whole, uh, I don't know. I love, I love the fact, I love this fact of mode. Like I'm trying to find out what could go wrong before it goes wrong. Because I'm trying to think, oh, maybe there'll be some negatives. Reward system, look, the reward system is what it is. I hope they do a good job, but if they don't, I don't really care But at the end of the day. Because, because my whole thing with this clutch time game mode is that it brings the, in my opinion, the worst part about Unlimited outside of SVM. I don't even care that much about SVMs if the games take so long. Like if you play, and because there's no real incentive for playing in Unlimited, it's all about winning. So it's not like in FIFA where if you play a bunch of games, you still get your skill points, you still kind of get stuff and you still get reward. Whereas in 2K, you don't really get reward for playing the game. It's also about winning. So you could play a 40 minute absolute sweat fest and it's worth nada. It's worth nothing. Like if you play a 40 minute sweat fest on limit, it's worth nothing. Whereas in clutch time, you are playing max 10 minutes. Even if you're being stalled, as long as there's only two timeouts, and as long as whatever the pause timer is, the same with TTO. Everyone being like, "Oh, people are gonna, um, people are gonna stall people in this game." It's like people already stall people in TTO. It's it's happened. As long as the pause timer is three minutes in every game mode, stalling is gonna happen. It's a, it's a it's a thing. It's and it doesn't happen anywhere near as often as people like to say. Like it's not in 250. But stalling in general doesn't happen anywhere near as often as people like to say. So what this mode does is is it basically combines the two modes of Unlimited and TTO. It is a little bit longer than a TTO game, and you can use five players, but it's way shorter than an Unlimited game. So what this does is there's a whole group of players that really like only like playing 5v5 my team, but hate playing the long games. Whatever, forget about SPMM, and this is even without that. Like SPMM, look, I don't like it. It's in the game, it's not going anywhere. There are a group of players that only like to play 5v5, but unlimited games are too long for them. Or they don't feel unlimited is rewarding enough because the games are kind of too long and there's nothing for playing in the games. There is no way that game by game basis, this game is not reward more rewarding than unlimited. Unlimited, unless you're getting paid, in, is the least rewarding game mode in the game. But um, with this mode here, those guys that may have said, I only want to play 5v5, they'll play this game. If you got 15 minutes, whereas in the past it'd be like, I don't have enough time to play an unlimited game. I don't have enough time to, uh, or I can play TTO. But a lot of people don't like 3v3. I personally like it, but I think I'm going to love this mode. Because I prefer 5v5 to 3v3, but I like the quickness of, of TTO. And that's my favorite thing about it is the quickness. Is that I can spend five minutes in a TTO game, win or lose, and I'm like, you know what, I can go play another one. I don't need to sweat 30 to 40, 25 to 40 minutes on a game. Whereas in clutch time, it is what it is. And people are going to be like, oh, it takes no skill to win in a quarter. Yeah, exactly. It takes not, doesn't take that much skill to win TTO. Unlimited's not, not going anywhere. It's a completely new mode. And it's a new way of playing the game. And for me, it is ideal. It is absolutely ideal. Because I don't like focusing for long periods of time. I want, that's one of the main reasons why I always say I prefer FIFA. And I, I've been the loudest advocate for shorten unlimited games to four minute quarters. I have been the loudest advocate of that. Like, I've been saying it for years that the game, that unlimited games need to be shorter. But now I'm cool when unlimited games be five minute quarters. Because if I want to play 5v5 and I don't want to play 25 minutes, I can play this mode. I can play two, three games. I can play, well, technically I should be able to play four games for time one unlimited game. Let's say I can play three games of this for one unlimited game. And I don't even care necessarily about the rewards. Look, 2K, 2K, no matter how bad the reward system is, they're eventually going to put a juice card in and people are going to talk about the rewards being good. Like, the reward systems in 2K have not been great. It's an awful lot of RNG, and I think RNG is going to continue with this. But at the end of the day, the only most important thing is actually enjoyment and playing the game. And I think for a lot of people, because the guys that didn't have the time to play... There was a lot of guys that didn't have the time to play Unlimited, to grind Unlimited, and also didn't like playing 3v3. Those guys have had nothing. Now they have something. And for me, this is going to be an extremely enjoyable mode. Look, are there people that are going to hate this mode? Yes. Yes, there are. But this is something that I'm looking at. I'm like, you know what? This is a mode that I can see myself playing. And lads, all I got to say is TTO gameplays are may become a thing in a past with clutch time 
because my whole thing with gameplay is are is that i don't want to show you guys me scoring four points with a player in unlimited because i mean triple teams from the get-go which happens in high bag sp mem and also wins and losses matter too much in that mode like i don't care about my record in um tto because it doesn't make a difference but like if i if i'm on my account i don't i don't want to i'm struggling to get peyton as is i don't want to do a gameplay go for peyton um as well as that from some, from someone else's account i don't want to screw up their record there's a lot of reasons why i stopped doing limited gameplays and also they were just taking too long especially if i had a bad unlimited gameplay i'd either have to record it again or something along, or if i didn't record it again i would upload a gameplay of the card being ass and then you guys will get even more angry at me and the watch time was so bad on them even just looking at my back analytics but at least this clutch time game i can record one two five v five clutch time games and you guys will be able to see what cards are like in that i just hope that defensive settings work i hope that plays work and if that's if that all works i'm gonna be cool with it i have a f i'm not saying that this mode's gonna be perfect because i don't think it will be there's going to be a f i can't find any real flaws there's bound to be flaws like, I would not be surprised if defensive settings don't work in this mode. Like, that is my number one prediction, is that plays and defensive settings won't work. And then it kind of turns into Helter Skelter. Um, turns into, it's very, very tough without being able to call freelances to score in a 5v5 setting. If you're forced to play 3 out to win, this game mode becomes, yeah, it doesn't. It becomes rough. At the same time, um, I'm just thinking of hypothetical problems. I'm not, we don't know, we haven't played the game yet. But this mode has potential to bring a lot of different players into the game. Because Unlimited, in my opinion, drives away a lot of players. And I'm not even talking about SBMM. Like, I hate SBMM. But, like, most guys in the top bracket of SBMM, look, they're probably sweat either sweating the game anyway or are burnt out on the game. Even without SBMM, we'll be burnt out on the game. This is going to bring in players that didn't have the time because time constraint is such like from talking to a lot of guys i know especially from fifa time constraint is huge for why they stopped playing unlimited whereas it's going to take away that constraint and as well as that again the guys who like short quick games and hate tto now have somewhere to play i have basically been repeating that point for the whole video but i really want to stress because i know for a fact the general consensus for this is going to be negative i really want to stress my reasoning for why i like it because at the end of the day I'm not a freaking boogeyman. Like, I don't just go berserk for no reason. Uh, I'm not that often anymore. Like, but these are my reasons for... I try to give my reasons for why I don't like things. So I also got to give my reasons for why I like things. And that is why I think this mode could be great. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.